In this particular session, you're gonna see how to create a Hello World C application in Visual Studio and debug it. So, following are the steps for this Visual Studio Express Edition installation from the below link new project creation, creating a program, compile, run, debug it. So we're gonna see that. So I have started Visual Studio after the installation of it. So I'm going to File menu, clicking New Project. I'm selecting Win32 and here I'm selecting Win32 console application. So I'm gonna write a project name which is Hello World Test. And I'm clicking OK. I'm getting a little visit here. In this visit, I'm clicking Next, Finish. So, got a little main here. So, don't worry about this index call hash include stdafx.h, etc. We'll discuss those things later. So, um, what we can do is we can go ahead and include the header file hash include std io.h and then print off hollow world. To execute this application, what I need to do is to press this play button on the top. So I have pressed that. So basically the application just came and gone. So we couldn't see it properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a breakpoint here. So this red ball is a breakpoint. So what what it does is it'll it'll freeze the application once the execution is onto that point. So now if I press the play button, the execution stops after the print of statement. So the execution is stopped at this point where the yellow arrow you can see. So now if I look I can see the hello world here. So a little bit more about debugging. As I discussed it is freezing the execution of the program and looking at the variables and memory in general. So why we do that? A lot of reasons. We can understand the program we can fix some problem in the program. We can inspect the program. A lot of applications. So in the coming sessions we're gonna see um, this debugging a lot. So you'll get more used to it. So it is strongly recommend that you do it. So I'll be showing how to see the variables and things like that. Um, so it'll, it'll help you to understand a lot about the program like pointers, functions, etc. So breakpoint we have seen. Breakpoint is where the program stops. I can put breakpoint pretty much anywhere in my code. So wherever there is a breakpoint, there the program stops executing. That time you can inspect the program. What is the state of the things at that point in time? 
don't worry if you're not familiar with these concepts we're gonna see that in detail later so there is a lot of things up here which is the features of which which are the features of Visual Studio call stack memory window disassembly window all those things are there and that's it thank you